Hello, so let's try something a little different. Like any toy collector, I love making top 10 lists. The problem is, not everyone likes watching them. So as it turns out, you know, all the top 10 episodes that I've done in the past have been some of my lowest viewed ones. So I figured it's not worth the effort to, you know, script out a whole list and everything. And so I figured let's try something different. Let's try something unscripted for a change. So this is an experiment. Let's see how it goes. Uh, started with something simple. My top 10 purchases for the first three months of the year, the first quarter of 2024. So that's January, February, and March. And let's see how it goes. If this thing works, then this will be a thing. If not, well, lesson learned. Number 10, Chode. Marvel Legends build a figure Chode with his little buddy who I forget the name of. So I'm not the biggest Star Jammer fan. And well, he's the first one I have. Didn't rush to get him. The only reason why I got him was because I found him on sale in some random shop in Hong Kong. So I don't even have Corsair. Uh, not sure if I'm actually going to get the whole set, but I figured at the very least, you know, when they do come around to releasing Hepsiba and the other member, uh, the cyborg guy, if, I, if I'm still undecided, at the very least, this guy will probably shoot up in value and, you know, I can get it some other completist out there. Anyway, yeah, it's a great sculpt. I know it's a reuse of the Abomination Build-A-Figure, but it's pretty good for what it is. I mean, some, some purists out there will say, oh, it's not the perfect, it's not the exact show deco, but works for a casual like me. So number 10, Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure, Chode. Number 9, Ken Masters from Jada Toys. So yeah, I'm not the biggest gamer in the world, but just like everyone else, I got caught up in the hype of Street Fighter 2 when it first came out way when I was in college. Well, I'm not a, I'm not a Ken person. I'm more of a Ryu guy. But anyway, just like back then, I got caught up in the hype with Jada Toys. They got great reviews uh, for these guys. So I got myself a Ryu. I got myself a Chun-Li. And so it felt, you know, natural to get this dude. Anyway, I'm still on the fence on whether I'm going to get everyone else. Okay, fine. I got Dalsim too. But... Okay, uh, still on the fence, uh, who knows? But in the meantime, I'm really enjoying this toy, really enjoying Ken. So Ken Masters from Jada Toys, number nine. Number eight. Number eight is Marvel Legends Vision. So yeah, I'm not the biggest Vision fan, but I am a big Avengers fan. Well before the MCU was a thing, uh, while everyone was in love with the X-Men, I loved the Avengers, especially the West Coast Avengers. But anyway, yeah, so this is the classic Vision. Yeah, we've gotten so many different decos of Vision in the past. And for the longest time, I had the retro one, which was kind of like this, but shinier. Um, and it had sort of like shorts instead of like this leotard look. So I prefer this Vision. Um, it's as classic as you can get. You know, you can't ask for anything more. And so, yeah, number eight. Classics Avengers Vision. Number seven, Mongor. So for the life of me, I cannot remember this guy from the original Thundercats cartoon, but when Super 7 first showed him off, uh, I knew I had to get him. I mean, he's a, he's a goat guy. He's a goat guy. Look at this face. Look at this face. Even if you don't know the backstory, come on, this guy is a winner. So yeah, I figure I can stick him around with the evil mutants. Um, I mean, Blazing Scythe, Goat Guy, Hooves. No, no, these aren't hooves, but uh, Demonic Feet, um, Horns, the whole... I mean, yeah, the sculpt is perfect. Look at that tail. Okay, yeah, so Mongor. Don't know much about him, but he's got a fantastic sculpt and he will just make my Thundercats play all that much better. So, Mongor. Number six, x bots Fast and Yuri. So these guys are masterpiece versions of the Battle Chargers, Decepticon Battle Chargers. And yes, I know they're obscure, they're obscure characters, but you know, for a completist like me, 
um, I had to get them, especially since, you know, they're the only masterpiece versions of these guys out there. Um, they're from X Transbots. X Transbots isn't, you know, they're hit or miss. Uh, these aren't, I would, I would put these guys somewhere in the middle. You know, they're not the best, but they're not the worst. They're kind of finicky, but they're not as bad as everyone makes them out to be. And they are just perfect for the display. So we have run about and run amok. The battle chargers from X Transbots was happy to get both of them together uh, from a shop in Hong Kong. So yeah, one of the highlights so far for the first six months of the year. Number six, Super Seven Ultimates Storm Shadow. So yeah, in case it's not obvious, this isn't the classified version. Um, it's less detailed, but it is. It's supposed to be the ultimate version of the cartoon, the cartoon Storm Shadow. So yeah, for what it is, it works. Again, not much detail, but you know, it's got everything you need for a Storm Shadow, including something you don't need, but it's unique. Excalibur from that one-off episode where he finds Excalibur. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's an iconic Cobra character turned G.I. Joe. Uh, he was pretty much always there in the cartoon, so he's worth, he's worth the purchase if you like the cartoon. So yeah. Storm Shadow, Super 7's Ultimate Storm Shadow. Number 4, Super 7 Ultimate's Rataro. So yeah, I mean, like most cartoons in the 80s, the bad guys are the stars, right? So when it came to the Thundercats, the evil mutants um, were the best, especially these guys from Super 7. And so Rataro is the last evil mutant that you'll need. Uh, love the sculpt, love these weapons, these fiery Chris swords with the eyes. Um, so yeah, he's perfect, really. Um, I know articulation isn't quite there, but the sculpt and that face, come on. All right, so yeah, he completes pretty much the main lineup of new mutants, uh, of new mutants, of evil mutants for the Thundercats display. So that in itself makes it, makes him uh, a worthwhile purchase. So yeah, uh, number four for me. Number three, G.I. Joe Classified Airborne. So yeah, if you don't know, Airborne is my favorite G.I. Joe of all time. I know he's as, he's as obscure as they come, but well, I don't know. Ever since I first saw him way back in 1984? Yeah, it was love at first sight. And so yeah, Airborne. He's the reason why I got into the 25th anniversary line way back in 2008 or something like that. Uh, I didn't think they'd make him, but they did. And so I got him and I ended up getting everyone else. Same with the classifieds. When classifieds first started, I resisted because, yeah, I had such a big uh, 118th scale collection already. But when Hasbro finally released Airborne, it was game over. Uh, I got him and now I am a... Classifieds Collector. I don't know if you can see all of that, but yeah, all thanks to this dude. Number three, G.I. Joe Classified Airborne. Number two, Super 7's Ultimate's G.I. Joe Scarlet. So yeah, when it came to my triumvirate of childhood crushes, I had Chitara from Thundercats, I had Tila from He-Man, and Scarlet from G.I. Joe. And not just any Scarlet, but this Cartoon Scarlet. So this was kind of like a no-brainer for me. Um, looks like she stepped right out of the TV. Yeah, I know that's cliche, but yeah, it is. Uh, this was one of my most highly anticipated figures. Once again, Super 7, not, nothing, nothing great with the articulation, but the sculpt is dead on. So yeah, um, I'm loving this Scarlet. Came out of the TV and straight into my heart. Number one is this dude. At least for the first half of 2024, Fans Toys Inquisitor. So, when it comes to Masterpiece Transformers, I'm at a point where I've got pretty much everything I need. I mean, character-wise, so I'm sort of like just uh, replacing, you know, switching out for better versions. So, for the longest time, when it came to Scourge, I had this guy, 
from X Transbots, Andras. And he was pretty decent for what he was. Uh, his feet were a nightmare though. They can't they can't sit flush and they're a nightmare to transform. But next to Fans Toys Galvatron, their sovereign and their quietus, Cyclonus, this guy looked just a little bit too toyish and plasticky. I mean the finish and everything. So when Fans Toys finally completes completed their unicorn unicorn unicron triumvirate with this guy it's kind of like a no-brainer so yeah i mean look at the finish i mean you can tell it's it's better uh the engineering it's more sturdy the engineering is better for a fan's toys project i mean for a fan's toys toy um yeah um you'd think it would be a nightmare to transform but it's actually pretty intuitive and the end result the the space boat is pretty nice and sleek so yeah, uh, it was a big purchase for me for the first half, but it was well worth it. If anyone wants to buy an Andres, I've got one for sale. Anyway, so yeah, Fans Toys Inquisitor. My number one toy so far for the first six months of 2024.